Guys, we are, here we are, we are sitting in front of, we are sitting in front of a, a pretty historic place. Sitting in front of the Gallagher's, Gallagher Guitar Factory here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. <coughs> I'm playing here tonight, seven o'clock, another hour and a half or so. And uh, the last two days I spent with David Mathis, the owner and uh, the uh, maestro of this facility has been fabulous. And uh, one of the things that's really stood out to me is the parallels, strange, strange syn synchronicity between him and this company and my best buddy, Robin Boucher. It's actually quite startling how similar the stories are. Uh, Robin, the Boucher name, Norman Boucher, the Norman guitar line, all of that. That was the first boutique guitar, like private bench guitar company, as far as I know, in Canada. Well, if you go back in history, you'll find that J.W. Gallagher was the very first boutique guitar builder in, in the United States ever. There was nobody else when he came along in the early 60s building, you know, pro-level, purposely mass-marketed, handmade guitars. Uh, Robin took over the business from family who owned it for many years. Uh, David took over this company from family who owned it since its inception. There was a, there's a, there was a transition period in these companies while recipes were sorted out and you know customers were taken care of previous customers and like all kinds of bizarre parallels between these two companies and it makes me real proud to be affiliated with Boucher and affiliated with this company because of course they're in two different countries uh, and I they're just at the top of their game both of these both of these men are a shining example of of just how good a guitar you can build with the right team so in the timeline David is a little further behind than Robin they're building about 140 or 50 guitars a year here they want to double that Robin of course is doing four to five hundred a year somewhere in that line and it's just amazing it's they 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 speak about guitars in the same way and it's just fascinating i would love to see robin boucher and david mathis sitting in the same room talking about guitars it would be a magical moment to see that happen and uh because as far as i'm concerned both of these men they build some of the best guitars in the world today there's just no way around that and uh my, my love for, for Gallagher is just, I can't believe I'm playing here tonight. That a guitar that I kind of idolized since I was six, seven years old, I first saw Gallagher's in uh, 1975 when I first saw, started listening to Doc Watson and uh, became completely obsessed with him. There's a, there's a weird noise happening. Anyhow, uh, yeah, so it's just, it's super cool to be here tonight. Uh, the sun's out, it's 22 degrees, it's beautiful in downtown Murfreesboro here. And uh, if you're around here, I don't know, there might be some people watching from around here. There's lots of, we've got people coming in from three and 400 miles away to see this show I'm over in Arkansas and north of here and south of here. So hopefully, you know, if you're around and you want to come see the show, it starts at 7 o'clock. Uh, I'm not sure what it costs to get in. It's not too much. But I'm just thrilled. So this is the last show of the tour. I'm going to head for home in the morning because we got to get ready to go to Scotland. And that's a big, big trip. And i got to get my my shit together and get the road off me and, and uh, get ready to fly, which is always incredibly stressful for me i hate it but anyhow it should be a very interesting trip over to scotland with dave and ginger's going with us you still won't see her i'm sorry we're not going to allow you to see her but 
So somebody somebody told me last night they're waiting for the moment when we accidentally show Ginger. <laughs> Anyhow, she's actually flying a plane today. Uh, she just sent me a video of her landing in Toronto. It was amazing, uh, unbelievable. What a, she's an amazing pilot and uh, commercial. She's a captain, so it's pretty. She's a pretty impressive young lady. I love her to death. And uh, so yeah. Anyhow, love you. I'm glad you stuck with me through all these days, three weeks now. Um, if I have, if I, I probably won't do any more vlogging after today. I'll just be concentrating on getting home safely. It's a 29 hour drive from here. So I will, and that means that I will be at home Wednesday night for string theory. So we will be back on the air Wednesday night, me and Coot and Megan, Ginger, the redheaded goddess referee of string theory and my life in general. And uh, <laughs> anyhow, we love you and we hope you're doing well. And yeah, thanks for hanging out with me for three weeks. It's been a great trip. God, it's been a good trip. I just, I feel like I could do this all, well, I, I did do this all the time before the pandemic. So now it's, it's nice to be back on the road and seeing humans and seeing all kinds of things I haven't seen for so long. It's nice to be back in Tennessee. I absolutely adore this state. This is, this is like, it's almost like a Southern Canada here. It really is. It looks like, it just looks like any Canadian, little Canadian town, you know, like in the middle of summer or early summer. Just a beautiful place and beautiful people and great food and great drink and just good people. Good, good people. That, you know, we forget, you know, with all the turmoil and all the bullshit going on in the world and nothing matters but the people. That's what makes any place. It's not the land or the politics or the or who's in charge of it or any of those things. It's the people on the ground that you can meet every day that really change, you know, your life. They've changed mine many ways over the years, you know, not for, uh, everything from, you know, all the music I stole from this place, you know, just over the years learning how to do what I wanted to do. And now this, this great relationship I have with Gallagher and, uh, it kind of makes everything complete for me. I got North America sewed up now. I got, I got these guys here, and I got my my best buddy Robin. It's just awesome to be part of of two families on either side of the border here. So anyhow, my thoughts and and uh, wishes and everything go with uh, everybody right now. I know there's a lot of a lot of turmoil in the world. But that's okay, we'll get through it. As long as we stick together. Like they told us one time down here, south, down south here, you know, one fellow said, Vice said we, we gotta hang together because if we don't, they'll hang us separate for sure. <laughs> All right guys, I love you. And we'll see you at, on String Theory Wednesday night, this coming Wednesday night. Love you. see you soon. Bye bye.